right, testing the new DJI Osmo 2 today. Um, I'm being filmed, filming myself with it now. And uh, it's very smooth, very cool toy. We're down at uh, Path of Condi, woods off, I think it's Butters Road or something like that. Quite a cool name. Oops, wrong way. Left is right, right is left, and you're in selfie mode. But amazing how still it is. It's quite incredible how well it works. I'm using my iPhone X and I'm using the Filmic Pro app and uh, shooting in log. Shooting in log on a mobile phone. Very cool. Bit of a hill here. I'm getting fitter, but not quite as fit as I need to be yet. So sorry for the heavy breathing. And if you hear any giggling, that's probably my wife who's with me today for a change. Anyway, Farah's here, as always. My faithful steed. It's okay, we don't put a saddle on her. Okay, gotta find a nice photograph to take as well while we're here. Seeing as how it's a landscape photography vlog after all. But I'm not sure what we're gonna find. Fingers crossed, but for now, enjoy the view. myself a little shot to take um, it's quite a nice one actually I think I'll just spin around here and you can see it pretty simple but there's this um, I don't know the, like this uh, whoops there's this um, path of trees cut down and it's just a nice sort of slightly hazy distance shot with the light coming in over the trees so I've decided just to set up and see what this looks like for the purposes of the video I think this is a nice enough photograph. Um, considering what we're out to do is to test this thing, the Osmo. I'm getting there, I'm learning how to use the app, but anyway. So we've got on here uh, the, just a polarizer and uh, a 0.9 soft grad, just to hold back the slightly brighter sky above the trees. And oh, camera's just gone to sleep. And I'm at f11, as usual. I'm focusing on... Which way will this go? Ha! Ah, I'm focusing on... Wait for it. Wait for it. The base of this fallen tree here. There you go. That one there. And... Um, uh, I'm on... White balance is just set for cloudy, because it's cloudy-ish. There's a little bit of sun today. And uh, it's a two second exposure, which is a little dark now. There's a little bit less light than it was when I set up a moment ago, so I might just bring it back up a little bit more. Yeah, and ISO 100, 3.2 seconds. Seems to be just about perfect. So let's just snap this off. Let's just turn this around a wee bit, there we go. Let's snap this off and see how it goes. Okay, little review. And I'm going to check the histogram as well. It's a little under, a little dark. I might just, I'm probably pretty happy with the way it looks in the back of the screen here, but I might just dial in a little bit more exposure. Check the histogram again before we shoot this time. I'm getting a big spike at the, uh, of clipping at the, the right hand side of the histogram from the brighter sky. So I'm just going to leave it where it was, 3.2. And just take another one. And fingers crossed this will be a nice little picture. Okay, All right, watch my footing here because it's pretty slippery. If I press, right, 
Oops, oh wait, let's have a look, see. There we are. It's a little bit overexposed in the back of the camera, which I think I can fix easily enough. Well, let's just try that. There you go, that's a bit better. So you can see the back of the camera now and see the image. So we've just come up over this rise and these trees, the, it's just opened up in this massive clearing um, of, well, forestation, deforestation. And it's such an incredible open wide vista. I actually can't think I've seen a sort of uh, wide area like this in Perthshire for some time. This is quite, quite unique. Um, and it's just incredible how far you can see you can see all the way over to Grangemouth from where we are and it's just rolling hills and new plantation of pine trees it's quite incredible um, well, I'll let you have a look and there you go just this really just incredible amount of cleared land and having just been in in amongst the pine trees uh, just a moment ago to walk out into this it's quite a stark contrast somehow really beautiful as well there's probably a composition somewhere in all this as well Veronica's pleased to hear that I'm gonna get the camera out now as well I bet she's lying in the Sun I'll uh, do her a favor by not showing you that and Farah's chewing a stick actually it's perfect so I'm gonna get the camera out Okay, so I've decided to do a panorama of this area and I've got the camera in portrait mode and sorry portrait orientation and I'm just gonna pan through this scene at about 140 145 millimeters um, and some nice light passing across I'm using a couple of ND grads just to darken off the sky and get some detail on the clouds and I'm using a three-stop ND as well just to balance out the lights and the colors uh, give me a bit more scope uh, it has lowered my shutter speed slightly to one sixth, but that's fine. We shouldn't get too much movement in the clouds with that. So we're gonna give that a go and pan it through slowly, take a time overlap by a third. And um, with any luck, we'll get a nice shot out of this. So fingers crossed. Um, again, this uh, point of the exercise today was not necessarily to get some photographs, so that would be it's a nice bonus when you get them. The point was to 
to test the Osmo 2 and uh, I'm very, very impressed with what it can do. It's going to be a very useful tool uh, for vlogging um, and just getting some really interesting B-roll shots. So I think, therefore, the object of the exercise has been achieved and it's actually, therefore, time possibly to pack up, head back to the car and have a look at these shots later on. But ultimately, let's go to the pub and have some drinks and have some nice food. So I'll see you next time.